Hey guys, this is Ben from Lone Star Hovercraft. In this video, I'm going to show you how we install one of our belt reduction drives on the Predator 22 horsepower engine from Harbor Freight. Um, we make both cogged belt drives and V-belt drives, um, and I'll make a separate video explaining when you might want to choose one over the other, um, but the install process is pretty similar, so in this video, I'm going to show you one of the V-belts. Um, this is just a basic uh, Predator engine. We've stripped it down. Um, so the first thing you noticed is the muffler that comes in the box is taken off because that gets in the way of the propeller. So we've taken that off and then we've taped over the exhaust ports. Um, so the first step in installing the redrive is to take what we call the tensioner bar here that comes in the redrive kit. And we use two 516 bolts and screw this into two of the, the holes that are immediately beneath the PTO shaft. And what that does is it gives us these two vertical bolts that will ride up and allow us to uh, pull tension on the belt. And when we send out a kit, we send uh, torque specs and everything, but for now I'm just sort of doing this as a demo. And so I'll just gently tighten everything up, uh, not installing it permanently. So tensioner bar is now installed. The next step is to take the drive itself, which consists of a uh, the redrive plate, and then the upper pulley I'm showing you here. And so we've got four bolts here. Hopefully you can see that with thick washers on the front, and then we've got uh, some spacers on the back side. We're going to take this. This can be a little bit easier if you've got a helper, but you can do it by yourself. And get these all threaded into the appropriate holes on the engine cover here. Okay, so the redrive plate is now installed. What I normally do is I'll finger tighten the four bolts and then back them off about a quarter turn or so. And that gives you enough freedom to slide this plate freely up and down. And that'll enable us to first install the belts and then uh, very controllably apply tension. So at the moment, I'm gonna put this all the way down. And then next step is to grab the lower pulley this is an example of one of those with one of the quick disconnect bushings already loosely installed. Here you want to make sure you get the key uh, for the PDO shaft, install that as well. And when we're doing this uh, for a permanent installation, we like to put some Loctite on that key because the key can work itself loose with the vibration and that can really ruin your day if it gets out and hits your propeller. So we're going to put that in just loosely for now, at least for the purpose of this video. And normally we'll use a straight edge and we'll align the back surfaces of these two pulleys. Uh, so when you put the belt on, you know it'll be lined up. Okay, next up I'll grab the banded V-belt pulley. This is one of the three V-belts we use, um, you can see here. And uh, some of these can be a little bit tight. Um, what we normally do is start on the lower pulley, pull it out just a little bit, get the uh, the V's seated in the grooves there, and then slowly work it up and over the top pulley. If you have any trouble with it, you can actually just pull the lower pulley completely off the shaft and get it seated, and then put the belt over the top uh, grooves, and then put the lower pulley back on the PTO shaft. Um, just whatever works for you. Make sure that's lined up again. And then next up is tensioning. And I'll show you here how we do that. With the um, tensioner bolts, you can see from the side here, these bolts then we, um, we screw in through the tensioner bar and the ends of these bolts actually seat in pockets on the bottom of the um, uh, redrive plate. And so, we just screw these in all the way and then very slowly uh, raise the redrive plate until we get the tension we need on the belt. 
Okay, so now I have the tension where I want it. You can see the belt is nice and tight. Um, we do provide guidelines for tension on the V-belts, although they're not nearly as critical as the cog belts to get that right. They're a little more forgiving. Um, what we've done after I've tightened up the um, tensioner bolts here, you can see that I've taken the two, the two jam nuts here and lowered those all the way down to the top of the tensioner bar. Um, we like to keep the tensioner bolts in place while we run, and that keeps the tensioner bolt from backing out um, while you're running. Um, and once you have the tension where you want it, you use a, a ratchet wrench on the bottom two bolts to tighten those. And then you have to go with a uh, box ended wrench, a uh, half inch to tighten the two bolts on the back side of the pulley now. Okay, now last but not least, we are ready to attach the propeller now. And we have uh, six bolts that go through the crush plate you can see here, through the propeller hub, and then through a hub extender here um, that actually just serves to give you a little more space between the propeller blades and the engine shaft. These composite props, if you're more used to a wooden propeller, do tend to flex a little more, so you want a little more clearance on them. So we just line it up with the uh, six holes in the hub and screw it on. Okay, so here it is, ready to go. I'll show you from the front. Um, as you can see, it's a very simple setup, not a lot of frills, uh, but it'll give you a lot of uh, trouble-free hours of service in the water. So, as always, feel free to um, leave a comment, or if you have more questions, um, go to the website, LoneStarHarborCraft.com, and feel free to send us an email or give us a call. Thanks for watching.